Welcome to our Coinbase Pro tutorial for beginners. So in this video, I'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to use Coinbase's Pro platform. By creating an account with either Coinbase or Coinbase Pro, you have access to both platforms. It's essentially having one account and you can purchase cryptocurrencies and transfer between the two platforms as I'll show you later on in this video. To get started, you could go to pro.coinbase.com and click on get started right here, but you're not gonna get any free cryptocurrency by getting started this way. If you go to my referral link that I'll put down below in the description, you can get $10 of free Bitcoin once purchasing $100 of crypto on the normal Coinbase platform. You can then transfer the $100 of crypto you purchased plus the $10 of free Bitcoin to your Coinbase Pro account and make all future trades from there, saving you a ton of money in fees. After you fill out this screen here or the one I showed you previously by adding your name, email, password, your state if you're in the US, certify you're over 18 and click create an account, you're going to have to go through their KYC process, which stands for know your client. So you'll need to give them your phone number, address, social security number, and a copy of your photo ID. This is going to be the same for creating an account basically with any crypto exchange. I'm going to be going through this tutorial from my computer, but no, both Coinbase and Coinbase Pro have great mobile apps, so you have access to the majority of the functionality from your cell phone. Before we go further in this video, I want to mention I'm not a financial advisor and nothing in this video is financial advice. It's for purely educational purposes. Before purchasing any cryptocurrency, you want to make sure to do your own research. Before we get into Coinbase Pro, I'll really really quickly show you how to use the normal Coinbase platform, how you could purchase the $100 of cryptocurrency earning the $10 of Bitcoin. So the normal page you're going to come to is this assets tab. If you click on trade, you'll have a list of all of the different cryptocurrencies. Along the side here, you can make a purchase. You can change the cryptocurrency right here. If you want more information about any of the different cryptocurrencies, you can click on any of the different lines and they'll take you to something that looks like this. So notice the price right here, 42,341. But when we go to purchase, you're gonna notice the half percent spread when purchasing from the normal Coinbase platform. So we click on preview buy. And so you see the price here of 356 and you're gonna see it's 610. So generally that spread is around a half a percent plus when making a purchase of a hundred dollars, you're gonna pay 299 in fees. So that's why I would just make one purchase here, get your free Bitcoin, and then every other purchase or trade of cryptocurrency I would do from the pro platform. So when you log into the pro platform, it's gonna look something like this. Your login information is gonna be the exact same. I know it looks very overwhelming right now, but bear with me. If you spend a couple minutes to understand this platform and use this instead of the normal Coinbase platform, you're gonna save a lot of money in fees. So the first thing I wanna do here before we think about purchasing any cryptocurrency is make sure that you have a bank account connected. So if you go to the top right-hand corner, click on the arrow and then go to banking. If you already connected your bank in the Coinbase setup, that bank will also be active and you can use within Coinbase Pro. But if there's no bank here, you can click on new account. You can send wire transfers, but your bank is gonna charge you for that. To get started, I would just connect a bank account. So they're gonna use Plaid to connect your account. So you can click continue, and then it should give you a list of a bunch of different banks. If you don't see it immediately, you can search for it. So you can see SoFi right here, and then you just need to add your login details for whatever bank you choose. It's gonna connect it to, and then from there, you can easily transfer money from your bank to Coinbase or Coinbase Pro, and also back to your bank. We already have a bank account set up, so let's get out of here. Okay, so now to go back to the previous screen, you can click on trade in the upper left. There's a lot showing on screen right now. This is essentially all of the orders. So these are the people looking to sell. These are the people looking to buy. This middle part here is essentially the same representation. You see the mid market price, which is what's gonna be showing up here as well. Down below you have the open order. So these are the orders that have already been filled. This is the trade history. So every time an order goes through, it's being displayed here. This chart here, you can change the time frame from right now it's set at one day. So each bar is a day. You could change it to say 15 minutes. You can either scroll to the left or the right to look at, at past information. You can change from candle to line. And that's basically the summary here. Along the left-hand side is where you're going to place your order. So the first thing you wanna do is select the market. So right now we have Bitcoin, USD, but there are a bunch of options here. So if you're in all, everything's gonna be listed right here. If you have an account in euros or in British pounds, you can choose those as well. You can also trade between 
one cryptocurrency and another. So for example, if we go to Bitcoin, we can trade between Bitcoin and Ethereum, et cetera. There's also a bunch of stablecoin options, but what we're gonna focus on is USD right now. Why don't we just go through all this as if to purchase Bitcoin? So what you're gonna see here is a summary of the pair you essentially chose. So you can see I have $0 right now and I have a little bit of Bitcoin. So if I wanted to withdraw either of these, I could click on withdraw. And so if I wanted to withdraw Bitcoin, I could either send this to Coinbase or I could send it to a crypto address. And it gives me all these options here. If I had money, I could also withdraw the dollars I had in my account. But what we wanna do is make a purchase right now. So let's close that. So being I don't have any dollars, it's not gonna let me purchase any Bitcoin. So let's go to deposit and where US dollar is right here. So if you had dollars in your Coinbase account, you could transfer them by clicking here. I do, I think, have $25 from the Coinbase tutorial. But the thing is, whenever you transfer money or transfer money to purchase cryptocurrency, your funds are going to be locked up for seven days. So this dollar transfer that I made was yesterday creating the other tutorial video. And so it's not going to let me transfer this. It says funds on hold right now. So we can go back, though, and go to my bank account. So let's transfer $100 preview deposit. You can trade your USD instantly while we wait for your funds. You can withdraw your USD or crypto you buy with it after five days. So seven days, five days, it takes a couple of days before you can do anything with either your dollars or your cryptocurrency. So if I click on deposit USD, there you go. Trade immediately, done. So you can see now this was immediately updated. Now I have $100 and this amount of Bitcoin. Okay, so here's where we have the three types of order. So market order, limit order, and stop order. So market order is just the midpoint. So around this price is where your buy or sell is going to take place. Or for example, a limit order is maybe you say, hey, if Bitcoin drops below $40,000, I want to purchase Bitcoin. So I could say 0 0.001 of Bitcoin is what I want to purchase. If the price is... 40,000. So if that's the order I want to put in, I can go to place order. No one's going to sell me Bitcoin right now because the price is 42,000. And so you're going to see this is going to sit in the open orders. If this is just left open today, tomorrow, the next day, the next time Bitcoin drops to 40,000, this order would go through. And then a stop order is a little more complicated. You have a stop price. You can say if Bitcoin hits a certain price, then I want to add a limit order of this amount. Don't worry about all these right now. Just a market order right now is whatever the price is. So around $42,000, whatever amount that you put in. So if I wanted to purchase the whole $100 that I have right now, you can see the fee here is 50 cents. So if you saw earlier using the normal Coinbase platform, there was a spread of around a half a percent. And then on top of that, there was a $2.99 fee. The entire fee for this is only 50 cents. So place order. So it's saying it's insufficient funds right now because I have this open order. So whatever orders that I have that are open, plus what I try to do at the time, there needs to be funds for all of that. So what I could do now, if I wanted to make a smaller purchase, I could just change this to $50 if I wanted to leave that limit order right there. And so you can see the nice thing here is the half a percent fee is the same regardless of the amount. I'm not sure how small the amount could be. I've never tried to purchase $10 here, but you can see here, $10, you're only paying five cents. Place order, yeah, so you can make small transactions and it's still just a half a percent fee. And so right here, you can see this one popped up right here. Here's the fee and you can see that it's already been filled. So if I were to come back to the screen, it's going to move over there. Then on the sell side, you're going to see the exact same thing. So sell, you have a market sell, you have a limit sell or you can do a stop order. So those are the options when purchasing or selling cryptocurrency. Would you like to automate your finances to set it and forget it? Well, we have a free course to help you do just that. If you're interested in signing up, check out the link in the description below. Now let's go through the couple of other screens that we have. So we have orders. Okay, so here are the open orders. So this is the 0.001 of Bitcoin that I wanna purchase if Bitcoin hits 40,000 again. And so this will stay open as long as I want. I could delete this at any point. Let's just leave this open. The filled order. So these are all of the orders that I placed on the Coinbase Pro platform. And then if we go into fees, you're going to see the total volume of $270.63. Here are the fees that I've been charged and they're charging 50% for maker or taker fees. You can see down below, if you're trading more than $10,000 per month, you can start to save on your fees. 
if you're trading less than ten thousand dollars the half a percent which is significantly better than a lot of other platforms so make your and take your fees take your fees are if you place a market order or a limit order that's taken immediately you're not actually adding liquidity but for example my limit order of uh 0.001 Bitcoin at 40,000 that just sits in the order book. And then if someone wants to make a market order when it's at that price, I'm essentially making more liquidity in the Coinbase platform as opposed to taking liquidity away, which is what happens when you place a market order. So that's the orders tab if we go to portfolio. So here's my current balance within Coinbase Pro. So you can see the amount of Bitcoin, US dollar balance, Stellar, and I think I maybe when I transferred Avalanche out of here. So Stellar, this is an interesting thing. So if you go into Coinbase every once in a while, there's this section called learn and earn where you can earn free cryptocurrency. So I think I've earned 20 some dollars in free cryptocurrency. There's probably eight different cryptocurrencies where I've done these short quizzes. I'm learning about cryptocurrency and earning free money essentially. So I definitely recommend checking that out even if you're primarily using the Coinbase Pro platform. Also, you have a list of all of your previous deposits as well as all of your previous withdrawals. If you want to deposit or withdraw either US dollars or cryptocurrency, you can do that up here. So if you click on deposit, so if you click on US dollars, then we can transfer from Coinbase, bank account, or wire transfer if you wanted to deposit a different cryptocurrency. So for example, I transferred some Bitcoin to my Celsius account to earn rewards. If I wanted to send that Bitcoin back to Coinbase, I could do that by clicking on my coin address, only send Bitcoin. So you wanna make sure you have the right wallet address. So for example, you can use the QR code or copy this wallet address and say transfer the Bitcoin from my Celsius account here. So the withdrawal functionality basically works the same way. If we click on withdrawal, maybe I just sold some of my Bitcoin and I want to send the dollars to my bank account. I could click on USD, send money to my bank account, or I could send US dollars between Coinbase and Coinbase Pro. Any of the transfers you do between Coinbase and Coinbase Pro, you need to do it from Coinbase Pro. They essentially try to hide it from the normal Coinbase users. So there's that. And then if you wanted to withdraw a cryptocurrency, for example, if I wanted to send some of my Bitcoin somewhere, I could, again, here we have Coinbase, or I could send it to a crypto address. So I would basically cop copy the long Bitcoin address and paste it in here and say, how much Bitcoin do I want to transfer? So maybe 0.0005. If I put in a, a Bitcoin address, there's going to be a small network fee for transferring Bitcoin. And then I just click on confirm and then the transaction goes through within a couple minutes. That's my Coinbase Pro walkthrough. If you want to see how Coinbase and Coinbase Pro compare to seven other crypto exchanges in terms of the fees, check out the video up above. If you want to learn how to earn rewards or interest from your crypto, check out the video below. Hope to see you in those in future videos. Bye-bye.